This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. The Water and Sewage Corporation has signed a series of contracts designed to improve water supply on several family islands. It agreed to a $1.69 million contract with Bahamas Hot Mix to extend and improve water supply to San Salvador, completing a tender process that began last August. The work involves the supply and installation of more than nine miles of water main and 160 service connections. The project is expected to take about eight months to complete and will impact communities from Coburn Town to Sandy Point. In other business news, a Bahamian realtor was named top producer for the first time. Island Living Real Estate recognized Christine Wallace Whitfield for her single-minded focus on real estate in 2016, which paid dividends for both her and the company. Wallace Whitfield says she believes her sales reflect market trends. She also serves as the vice president for the Bahamas Real Estate Association. And in international news, Britain has finally revealed its plan for Brexit. It wants to negotiate a clean break with the European Union and a new free trade deal at the same time. Prime Minister Theresa May set out her plans in a major speech Tuesday, nearly seven months after voters backed Britain's divorce from its biggest trading partner in a referendum. But experts say May's plan is fraught with risk. It's going to be a rush, complicated job that could even fall apart at the last minute. And either way, it will likely reduce UK prosperity. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gatterly.